Okay, welcome everybody. I'm Jennifer Cook DeRosa. Some of you are going to be watching this live and others are going to be watching it as a video. But if you have questions today live, you're going to use our chat box. And if you have questions on the video, I'm going to talk to you later about how you can join our Homeschooling for College Credit transcript support Facebook group where you can ask questions in real time, or of course you can just post questions under this video and I will check those and make sure that those get answered. So at the end of the school year is usually a really good time to calculate grade point average. And we're gonna use one of my favorite calculator tools today to do that, but there's nothing in this session today that is um, locking you into what we're gonna do. Meaning you can use your own grade point average tools. You don't have to use the one I'm gonna use today. The one I'm gonna use today is not perfect. And I'll show you some of the flaws but it's really, really good and it's free, which is my favorite price. So I continue to use it until I get a better one. If you come across a better one, let me know, right? I'm gonna also show you using a transcript template that I created for my sons many, many years ago. And I did a demo walkthrough on how I built that. Um, there's nothing to, to download or buy. If you wanna create a similar transcript template, you can do that. The reason that I created my own is because I couldn't find a good transcript template that I was able to modify to, to meet all the needs that I had for my kids. So the template that I use is the one that's in the Homeschooling for College Credit website. It's the one that shows the demo on how to do it. You can use it in Word, you can use it in Google Docs or, or anything like that. Super easy to modify and not complicated at all. So that is something that you're gonna see me use today and that's how you can get that template if you want to. Okay, so at the end of the school year, that's a great time to do your your grade point average, right? So if you are gonna watch through this whole thing today, we're gonna to be doing it in a real time. So I wanna show you how long it takes to really do this for four years. I'm not gonna edit the video down to just show you and make it look super easy. If I make a mistake, which I sometimes do, that's gonna be on here too, and that's okay, because we'll fix it, all right? And I'll show you how to fix it. Um, we are gonna do all four years, but if you just have one year or two years, then you still can watch the video on how we do it, but you'll just stop at the point that um, that you're done, right? So if you only have ninth grade on there, at the end of ninth grade, you're done and you don't have to, to keep going. Okay, so with that, let's get started. I want to first show you the transcript that we're going to be using. So I need to do a screen share here. Bear with me one second. Okay, let me ask someone in the room to just put into the chat box if you can see the high school transcript on your screen. Okay, perfect. So this is the transcript that I made for one of my sons. I modified it to protect his identity, but um, this is a real transcript that I used with very, very minor changes. This is the one that we're gonna be using for the demo today. Now, when I, um, when I show you this calculator, it's going to take up the whole screen. And so we're gonna be popping back and forth between this. Um, transcript that I've got here, and then the one that is using on the calculator. So you should be at this point before you sit down to do your calculation, all right? So when you have your transcript on paper, it may look something like this, and it may almost look done, right? You've got your classes here, which is the subject that you taught. It's got the grade that you awarded, your uh, ninth grade language arts awarded the grade of B, and it's got the amount of credits awarded. Here I awarded one credit. This was a one year long course. And whether or not I've identified a course as honors, some places here I have, and whether or not it's a college course, like some places here, you can tell it's a college course because it has the alphanumeric, which is CIS 125 right here. And then it has a little superscript um, number one, which matches down here to a entry for the college where that class was taken. What's missing is this box for the weighted grade point average. Now I'm gonna show you today how to do weighted or unweighted, but everything else is ready to go. It's just this calculation that's, that's complicated. And this is usually where parents will send me an email and they, they will say, I've got everything done except for this and I am frozen, I don't know what to do. So that's why we're doing the walkthrough. Um, because I want you to be able to see it. Now, you have to get up to this point before you start doing the calculations. And if you're only doing it for ninth or 10th grade, you would have these other ones blank, of course, 
but you would still want to have all of your classes on there, all of your credits and all of your grades. There's no calculator, there's no transcript template, there's nothing that's gonna do that for you. That's you as the homeschool parent coming up with that information. So that's, that's super important. Um, we have lots of resources that can help you if you get stuck on any of those steps. We're not gonna go into them too much today. Um, otherwise, I am just gonna show you our resource page very, very briefly. Um, can someone confirm that you can see the Homeschooling for College Credit website on your screen? And I keep asking that because I have many screens here and a lot of times I, I am talking on a screen that is the wrong screen that's selected. So I will continue to ask that. Okay, this is Homeschooling for College Credit. If you've never been to our website, hs4cc.org will get you there or homeschoolingforcollegecredit.org. If you are up in the top here, this is where all of our resources are. Help Me Grow is the transcript resource page. So if you need any help with anything besides just calculating, you can get it here, okay? This has um, just some basic information. It has some links to some different articles that um, can help you make decisions as far as things like knowing the difference between regular or honors, so on and so on. And then these are the resources. We are a nonprofit organization. So almost every resource that we offer is always free when it can be. Um, we have a Facebook group, and this is where, if you're watching the recording, this is where you can go to get direct answers to your questions in real time. The transcript writing Facebook group is a homeschooling for college credit group. So everyone in there has the same challenge as you do, which is having all kinds of different types of credit, right? So regular credit, honors credit, weighted credit, it's all, all part of our world, right? So you can get into this group. There's no cost to that. You can always email me. My email address is right here. It's public. It's for anyone. We have the mini class, which is building that transcript, which I just showed you. There is a um, calculation demo, which is what you're in right now, which is what you're watching. And I do this about six times a year. We have other classes that are for pay if you need. And the big one that I recommend is the um, transcript course, the big transcript course. And I teach this live four times a year. It's long, it's three hours, it's a huge class. Um, but we also have a self-paced version. So this is not a video to sell you these products. This is to show you the resources that we have here. You will probably um, get everything you need just from, just from being in the support group. But if you need more, don't hesitate to ask, okay? All right, so that is the resource page, <clears throat> excuse me. And on that resource page is going to talk to you about my favorite GPA calculator, <clears throat> pardon me. Can someone confirm for me that we're seeing a bright blue screen that says GPA calculator? Perfect, okay. So gpacalculator.net, this is a free calculator. All right, now, because it's free, it's got a lot of ads and it is imperfect. I, I still think it's the best freebie out here. You might be able to find one um, as an app for your on your phone, that would work. There are some other ones. But the reason I like this one, which you'll see today is because I can do so many different changes and it makes it super accommodating. Now I have a question. When you land on gpacalculator.net, you have two options. You have the calculator for college and you have the calculator for high school. How will you know which one to choose? Well, even though your student is probably earning college credit, you want to choose the high school GPA calculator. And that is because a college GPA calculator doesn't have any weighted and unweighted classes. And it's also not going to be able to accommodate regular um, courses, honors courses, and then the weighted uh, college and AP courses. So the college GPA calculator is a really super simple calculator. And you would only use this if your student was a high school graduate and they were enrolled in college. The one that we wanna use is the high school GPA calculator. Now, when you land on this page, you're only gonna see one box here in the middle. You're gonna use this box for ninth grade, all right? And I'm gonna type this in as we go because I want to have a tag um, once I start getting into all of the grades here. Now you see right here, it automatically wrote ninth grade and you can see that this is tied to it, you see? See how it changes when I change it? This is because I'm gonna do four years. If you're just doing four years, you probably don't have to go through the trouble of writing this. Also look here under the credits. So in some states, just a few, there's just a, a, about five states, the high school credits are a little different. They're, they're non-standard, okay? So there are some states that award two, 
some states that award five, and some states, California, that awards 10 credits, high school credits, for one class. If you are in one of those states where it is normal to award a different amount, then you're going to want to do that, okay? Um, you, you don't have to, I don't think. I think you can convert it into a basic one credit, um, but you would want to check your state laws on that because I'm not an expert in all 50 state laws. But most states, most colleges, um, expect that a high school course is worth one credit if it takes the full year, and it's half a credit if it takes half of a year. Now, all of the courses that my son did that's on this transcript, okay, these are one credit, but I am going to show you um, as we get into this what to do if it is um, half of a credit, okay? So I'm going to put this up on my screen so that I can work on it, but I have to do it off to the side here. So I'm going to type in the course names um, in a way that, that allows me to tag them for myself. Now, when you do this, okay, just know that this is not gonna be saved. This is a calculator. This is just like if you were using a, a calculator to do your own math work. Okay, what do we have here? We had a B. Your own math work for for something and then recording your answers on your worksheet. Well, that is the case here as well. So I'm putting these on here, these grades, but guess what guys, it's not gonna save, all right? It's not gonna save. So you wanna do this when you're ready to enter these onto the transcript. Okay, and I'm changing everyone because the default here is two credits, right? What do we get here? It's a B, one credit. Okay, now, if you look here, all of these say regular. Regular is just that. Your regular high school classes are gonna be regular course type. If you look here at the drop down, this is ninth grade, so we're only doing regular, but in the next ones here, in just a second, we're gonna have some honors. We're gonna have, we don't have AP, but we could have AP. IB is not available to homeschoolers, but if you have a student who transferred in from a high school that offered IB, you might have an IB course and then also college, which we will for sure have, okay? But right now we just have regular. And so it's giving me the weighted, but I could convert it to unweighted if I wanted to. Now, in this case where everything is regular, it's using a 4.0 scale. So a 4.0 scale means that A's are four, B's are three, and so on. When we get into the weighted, it gets more complicated, all right? So this was kind of an easy one. I have um, 3.67. So that is what I'm going to write here on my son's transcript, 3.67. As I write this, I'll show you that we have the total grade point average for the school year. And I had six credits and I got those credits by just counting and adding these up. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six is here, 3.67. Cumulative means you're running total. Okay, so since this is the first year, it's gonna be the same. So six credits in ninth grade, six credits so far. 3.67 grade point average in ninth grade. Oops, look at that, I got a mistake already. 3.67 credits so far. All right, so that's, that's where we are so far on this. And now I'm gonna go on to 10th grade. Now it says semester, but we're actually just using this as a grade our grade level, okay, ninth grade, 10th grade. And as you can tell, we're gonna do this four times. Okay, I have to be able to see it here on mine. Now, if something happened that I closed out this website, this is gone. That's why I'm recording it as I'm going, okay? All right, so I have English, Algebra 1, Chemistry, Government, oops, it's gonna want me to add these grades. Some of you are probably wondering, well, what about if I want pluses or minuses? Well, just put pluses or minuses. It's only more math if you're doing it longhand. If you're doing it like we're doing here where we're using the calculator, then it's not really more math. Sometimes if you use pluses or minuses though, it can actually lower your student's grade point average because 
um, having an A would be a four, but if you give them an A minus, it's less than four. So if you have a student that's got a lot of A's and A minuses, they're gonna have a stronger grade point average if you just um, give them a straight A instead of an A minus. Okay, so what else do we have here? We have honors. Um, we took our first honors here and that was a grade of B for one credit. And then we had another French. Okay. All right, so now I've got this second, all right? So, so far we've just entered these in, so nothing's gonna change here, but as I start assigning these different, different, length, um, different weights, it's gonna change. So English, algebra, chemistry, government, and French are all regular. Whoops, here we needed a grade and we need a, what do we get in French, A? And we need a course type. Okay, so you'll see here honors. Honors is the first kind of course type where you're gonna have a higher weight. So everything is on a 4.0, honors is on a 4.5 scale. So if you watch up at the top here where, where we just did this, you see how that changed? I'll go back so you can see it. See how that changed? Okay, so if I were doing unweighted, I would just go back and forth. You see how I can toggle? Look how easy this is. If I really, really needed to put weighted and unweighted on the grade on the uh, transcript, I could do that very simply because it's literally right here for me, okay? Um, but right here, I'm doing weighted. And so I have my 10th grade and I have it um, just right here. All right, now I'm gonna bring this back. I wonder if I can do it without taking that away. I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see both of my, both of my screens here but let me just go ahead and get this entered and then I'll switch over for you. Okay, hold on. So for my grade point average for 10th grade, again, I'm doing weighted is going to be 3.58. And now you'll look and see this cumulative. You see that right here? So the cumulative again, is going to be the running forward total. So you'll notice that that number is different, right? So in ninth grade, we had 3.67, 10th grade, 3.58, but our cumulative is our running total. So what the, the calculator did was it took all of ninth grade, all of 10th grade into one bucket, and then it came up with a cumulative grade point average. So let me write that down here. And then I do see a question in the chat. Okay, so 3.63 is the cumulative. And how do we determine if a class is honors or not? Without going too deeply into it, I will tell you that in this particular class, this was a class that my son studied for independently. And then he learned the subject using a variety of YouTube videos and some other things. And then he studied for a CLEP exam and passed a CLEP exam. So that is not the same as dual enrollment. That's not the same as, as it being a college class but because he was studying a higher level, I gave him honors. If you have um, similar situations where you're using like alternative types of college credit, things like Sophia, study.com, straighter line, those are also courses that tend to fall into kind of this area because they're not true college courses. And so you can't put them down as college courses, but honors is kind of a good happy medium because it shows that they've done harder work at a higher level um, than just a regular a regular course. Now, um, we had another question in there about the weighted versus the unweighted. And so really quickly, let's talk about that. If you're doing unweighted versus weighted, or if you're not sure, okay, an unweighted grade point average, if you look at this student's grade point average as an unweighted, okay, 3.5 is the 10th grade. Watch what happens in weighted. It's 3.58. It's a little higher, right? Well, what made it go higher? What made that change? So a weighted grade point average says that certain harder classes should be worth more weight. All right. So if you take um, a, uh, let's say you take, we'll do it right here with this English. Let's say you take a regular English class for high school. Okay. Regular, but someone else takes an honors English class. All right. And gets an A. Someone else takes a college English class and gets an A. Could we say, or is it fair to say that the college class was harder than the honors class and the honors class was harder than the regular? Probably, all right? So look what happens. If I'm, if I'm unweighting 
if I'm not giving them that weight, no matter what I change this to, you'll see their grade point average didn't change. It's unchanged, right? Watch what happens though, when we take a weighted class. All right, so we're at the 10th grade English regular, watch what happens here on 10th grade, okay? If I bump this up, if they took this as an honors, that raised their grade point average. That was a harder A to earn than the regular. Watch what happens if it was a college class. See how it's higher still? So the weight and when you use the weight versus unweighted, that is weighting the, the, um, the difficulty. So a, a college level class is worth 5.0 on a 4.0 scale. It's that much harder. It's a full point higher. And so that's what that means when it's weighted versus unweighted. And I know that there's um, some more questions, which we're going to get to, but I want to make sure to get all of these done. So let's go ahead and do 11th grade. Okay. And again, we're doing this in real time. So this is, this is how long it probably take you less because I'm talking, right? Oops. Doesn't matter really if I have a typo on here because this is not going to the college, but, um, I just like to fix it here. All right, we have an honors history, honors economics. All right, we had a B on this one. Algebra two was also a B. Honors history was an A. Honors econ was a C. All right, and we had a couple more courses. We had a college class, I'm just gonna call it website. And that was grade of a B. And then I had another one that was a computer operations class, and that was a B. Okay, all right. So you can see that I've entered in the grades. Everything right now is listed as regular. So let's go ahead and change them. Okay, so the 11th grade English was regular. Algebra two was regular. We have an honors, honors history. Okay, so I'm gonna bump that up to honors. Honors econ, that was an honors. Then we have the CIS um, 125, which was the website class that was college level and the CTI computer operations class, also college level. So if I go back up here, you'll see now, if I toggled back and forth between these, my student has a much higher grade point average using the weighted than the unweighted, all right? So it's breaking it down for me here, ninth grade, 10th grade, and the 11th grade, and I am using weighted. Some of you um, may have you know, an, an not decided about weighted or unweighted. You can do both. You don't have to just report one or the other. Yes, there will be colleges that have a preference. So sometimes a college will turn your grade point average into the one that they want usually they will unweight it, right? So if you submit it weighted, they, they may unweight it. That could happen. That's the case in my state of North Carolina where everything has to be unweighted. But that being said, weighted is an advantage if you're sending your student to a highly selective college or one where it's very competitive and everyone else is submitting weighted grade point averages. You want yours to be weighted then too so that your student is competitive, right? If my student came in with an unweighted grade point average, he would have a 3.39, whereas if he comes in with a weighted, it's a 3.5. If it requires, uh, for 12th grade, if it requires a 3.5 or higher to participate in dual enrollment, you can see that he wouldn't qualify if I didn't submit it as a weighted grade point average. So you can do both ways, and, and you probably should do both ways just so that you can see what's going on. Um, but let me move my, my thing over here. Whoops, unless I'm losing it. I don't want to do that. Okay. I don't think you guys can see both of my screens here, but I'm going to go ahead and include it on here. So our total for 11th grade, our total for 11th grade is 3.5. And our cumulative so far in 11th grade is 3.58. All right. And if you can see that, I'll show you where we are so far. Okay, so here's where we are so far. These numbers, again, have come from the calculator. And I'm going to probably, um, let's see, let me answer here another quick question. And then we're going to do the 12th grade. Um, the college classes in study.com, 
plus club, is that considered honors? I would consider that honors. It's not going to be college and it's certainly more than regular. So what hits the middle, that's honors. So that's a 4.5 on, um, on a weighted scale. Okay, so I've got all my numbers here. Again, I could go back and forth if I need. Let's do the last one. Let's do 12th grade. All right. Oops. Let's see, for English, we had a B, one credit. College algebra was an A for one credit. Business law was a B for one credit. Management was an A for one credit. Um, this was a college business class also. That was an A for one credit. And then this was another computer. And that was also an A for one credit. Now hang tight because I know we talked about what's if it's not a full credit, if it's a half. Okay, so now I'm gonna change the course types to give the proper weights. Okay, so English was a regular English. This college algebra was a college. This one, business law was a college. The management one was a college. The intro to business was college, and then this computer one was a college. Okay, so now I can go up here, and again, it's got everything, everything here for me. So my 12th grade um, grade point average, look here, is actually above a four. How could that be? That's because of the weighted. If you flip over to unweighted, look at it's now it's under a four. All right, and that's because we don't have all A's here. So weighted for sure is giving that student a much stronger grade point average um, because of all the college classes. If we were just using high school classes, it wouldn't be as strong. Okay, so I'm gonna enter those onto the transcript. Um, so let's see here, the, uh, the total for 12th grade was 4.5. And then the cumulative, which now because we're at the end of 12th grade, this is the final grade point average that my student is graduating high school with, 3.81. Okay. All right. So let me show you what that looks like. Can you guys confirm for me that you can see the transcript on the screen? Okay, perfect. Okay. So this now has everything filled in. It's really important that I save this because if I don't save it, Remember that calculator is just a calculator. It's just doing the math for me. It's, it's not saving it. Um, so this is, this is everything. Now, the one thing that made this a little bit easier is that everything was one credit. If your student takes a, um, a high school class that only lasts one semester, typically that's a half a credit. If your student takes a college class that's one semester, typically that's one credit. So if you get into a situation where you have a half credit, there's a couple different things you can do. And I wanna show you just kind of based on the, um, the calculator's weaknesses, because this will happen for you. So what I'm gonna first do, if you don't mind, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna take all these numbers off, we're gonna pretend for a second that these are not college classes. I just wanna take them off because I'm gonna show you how to, how to kind of fix what to do. Okay, so let's say that this class is one semester, but it was a high school class. So it's only gonna be a half a credit. Now, it doesn't matter if it's um, weighted or unweighted, it, this, that doesn't make a difference. Okay, so these are each half a credit. Okay, so let me go back now and show you on the calculator. Can you guys see the calculator? Am I on the right screen? Someone tell me yes. Are we back on the calculator? Can someone tell me? Perfect, okay. All right, so these last two classes down here were the ones that I changed, okay? So these were the ones that I decided were gonna be a half a credit. And we're, 
I'm going to just move them to regular. Okay, so if you look, this calculator does not go down below one. It goes up, but it doesn't go down. Okay, so the calculator isn't going to do what I need it to do. So what I'm going to do, because this is just for me, right? This is not to turn into the college. I'm just going to combine these into the one, right? And and I'm going to have that there. If I had a third one, let me flip it over. If I had a third one, like just this one, probably a better example to show it to you this way. Let's pretend this one also was a half because I want to show you here what to do. Okay, if I had three of them here. All right. Um, they were all half. Well, here, we'll do this one. I'm just going to write it like this, okay? It's going to be easier to demo it this way. Okay. Half, half, half. These are half credits, and I'm tagging them like this so you can follow my demonstration. Okay. If, the, if I've got two of the half credits, I'm just going to enter them in as one. That's going to do my math. If I have a third one and I can't do it, okay, the easiest way for me to do it is to turn that one into a one and a half. All I'm doing is I'm bundling them for the calculator. I'm not going to send this in. This is just for my math help, okay? And that is exactly the way to do it. Now, if you have so many halves that you're not able to bundle them, maybe you've got, maybe you can bundle um, more of them together and change it. This doesn't hurt you in any way if you bundle it just for the purposes of doing the calculation, okay? It, it obviously, as long as you're counting it, you can count it. The only thing you have to remember is that you have to do um, like things together. So if I bundled together three of these half, half and half classes, all right? So that's half, one, one and a half, right? I can do that as one and a half. The thing I have to remember here though, is that those all have to be the same, okay? So I can have three half credits that are regular, three half credits that are honors or three half credits that are college. I just can't mix them up. I'd have to keep them separate. Now, if you get into a situation where you're unable to do that, this calculator probably won't work and you could find a different one. Um, but this calculator works perfectly except for that one little situation where if you just had that one little half credit. Um, and so that's, that's the flaw, but it works wonderfully in every other situation. Okay, so I'm gonna show you everything. We're done, we're finished, you guys. We did the whole grade point average. Okay, I'm gonna put this back to, well, I'm, I don't need to put it back. I would go ahead and I would correct those. I would make sure that the course names were exactly as I wanted them to be, that the credits were exactly, and that the grades were exactly. And again, this is providing a weighted grade point average. So I'm gonna go ahead, I would write this in here. I would write that it was weighted. I could very simply, if I wanted, add another column and that could be an unweighted grade point average as well. But that's how you do it. It took us 30 minutes and that's with me talking. You can see that this is, yes, it's math, but guess what? If we're using a calculator, we can be sure that we're doing it super accurately. So thanks very much for staying with me through the end of that demonstration. And I really do hope that it was helpful. I'm gonna stop the recording.